Hey guys, it's your girl Heather. Um, <laughs> sorry for the messy hair. I just got out of the shower, but I thought I'd better record this right away after I got up. Um, I had an interesting dream. I I saw mom and dad for the first time in a long time. They visited me, and they told me how proud of me they how proud they are of me. They said I have come a long way since my teenage days when I was a nightmare. I was still a nightmare up until I was in my late 20s. I'm sorry. Um, but like I said, they have, they told me in the dream that they were so proud of me and how far I've come. Um, in my journey of healing and dealing with my mental illness and also obstacles like my sister. They told me to keep up with what I'm doing, um, that they know I'm in the right. Uh, they said, do not let an, un an unarmed man try and drag me away from my beliefs. And I want to believe that's, that's them talking to me. But again, the skeptic in me, I don't know. I, I have a feeling that's them talking to me. I've been down in the dumps and crying and everything because of my depression setting in. I don't know, because of the seasons, because of what's going on with my sister, um, everything but but I just maybe they did hear me <laughs> but they said that uh I have a feeling that they know that I'm not doing everything that my sister says I am like hacking and stealing money from her um stuff like that it doesn't really matter anyway to the to, uh, to God <laughs> if they believe that's not true it's not true and I believe it's not true because I didn't do it <laughs> yes Misty I didn't do it I'll say it again I didn't do it <laughs> I know I sound like a parrot guys but um and I know that many of you on the forum don't believe in this sort of thing that's okay that's okay um like I said, I'm sort of a skeptic too sometimes. Just because of everything that's happened to me in life. Going through abuse of a... I had an abusive boyfriend. I lost my fiancé um, 20-some years ago. I had a miscarriage. I lost my parents at a young age. I had to go through life and grow up very fast. So I imagine you guys can, can understand why I'm such a skeptic. Um, I just don't, I, yeah, I have my beliefs and everything. I'm not, I'm not, do not, okay, I can't say this right. I'm non-denominational, which means that I have an open mind about all religions. Um, but yeah, it's just, it really surprised me when I uh, got to see my mom and dad for the uh, first time in a long time in my dreams. Um, was just I was just sitting in my armchair and all of a sudden a bright light came out and my mom and dad were standing there. It's like, okay, what is going on here? They just were there and they were telling me how proud they are of me to continue following with my beliefs, um, to love my enemies despite what they do to me. And that includes you, Misty. 
um, to not fight unarmed men who don't have proof or whatever of whatever's going on to them. Um, except for that proof that's online and everything, but that's about it. They don't really have proof <laughs> of anything, really. Um, because anybody can see that online. It's not really a big secret. Now, I did find it peaceful to see them again. I have missed them so much. And I admit, there was a time a couple years ago that I just wanted to give up. I wanted to join them. It's hard for me to admit that. Because I've seen what suicide can do to families. My mother committed suicide and was successful. My sister tried twice. And another family member tried once or twice and was not successful. And I just don't want to go that route. But a couple years ago, I was in a very dark place. I was just, I was about to give up. Now, does that part of me still rear its ugly head? Sometimes, but I've been better at battling it. I had decided that what I want to do is talk to people that are contemplating suicide. And please, if you are watching this, if you are contemplating suicide, I don't care if I know you or not, reach out. I will listen to you. Just drop a message in the uh, comments and I'll get a hold of you. Do not let suicide win. Because what you will leave behind is a whole world of hurt. You'll have a lot of people missing you. A lot of people wondering if they could have done something. I love you all. And I just don't want to see any of y'all. No matter if I know you or not, go down that route. Life is too precious, and life is too short. Enjoy every day you can. All I can say is, if that was a visit from my mom and dad, thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. I needed it. Um, it just confirms that what I've been doing is right that I am going down the right road, that I am not letting anyone get to me. I appreciate it. Um, I guess that's about all I have to say tonight. <laughs> Today, it's early morning. It's like 8.15. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Love ya.